back to the channel and we are starting 2023 off right and I haven't done my goals video for 2023 just yet but one of my goals is to be more active on YouTube, TikTok and Instagram and 2022 I did start you know to get back to activity 2021 I didn't do a lot 2020 either 2022 I did some videos like some TBRs and everything I want to continue that so I want to be slightly more active than last year as long as it's you know within my capabilities and I haven't started to do like a 2023 goals video just yet and I do have a haul to film because I got some books and I want to film a haul of my Christmas gifts because that's something I always like to see and so I want to put that out as well um but we are starting the 2023 videos era with a tbr and just so you know this is not going to happen just yet because i don't have everything set but you can leave me in the comments some suggestions on what maybe i should put as options but i want to do my tbr cards as i usually do but i also want to do a roll for book inspired by the roll for sandwich series in tiktok by uh adventure in adventures in ardia i think that's the handle super cool uh series it's a dude that rolls for his lunch three times a week and you get some interesting combinations so that's kind of what i want to do as well I want to do maybe one for type, so it could be paperback, hardback, ebook, audiobook, manga slash comic, and then we could have like romance, fan fiction, not fan fiction, but uh, romance, fantasy, sci-fi, horror, thriller, um, historical, you know, you know the drill. And then we could have like short book, medium book, long book. So under 300 pages, between 300 and 500, and then 500 plus pages. And I don't know, we could maybe get like a wild magic and then get a prompt and say like, oh, it has to be a sequel. Or one of the rules could be if it was from a series or a standalone. I'm still working out the kinks on this uh, system, so it's not going to happen for January, hopefully for February, but you never know. Uh, I will need to work out the kinks. I'll ask TikTok and Instagram to help me out. If you want to help me out, then comment down below, please, because suggestions are always welcome. And with that out of the way, we're doing four rolls. Uh, my goal, one of my goals, is to read at least 10 minutes a day. So I hope that with 10 minutes a day, I can finish at least two books. So I'm rolling for four and then I can choose which books I start and finish. Okay, so let's start shuffling so we can draw our first card. And one of the books that I would like to get in here because I really was enjoying it, but then festivities came and I just stopped reading it and I never read it again is Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. Uh, my boyfriend gifted this book to me in a book date we did in December. I got him the Tuesday's Murder Club by Richard Osman and so we just picked each other a book and then we went to a coffee shop to get a coffee and read for a bit. Quite cute. I have read some more of the book I haven't finished it, but it was getting really, really interesting and I would like to finish it and then, you know, continue with the rest of the series because Wrath is interesting, to say the least. I've seen him in the list of book boyfriends, so I want to know why. Okay, we have a card. What are you? Yay! It's physical copy, which means, hang on, I get to put... Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Miniscalco. By the way, I have to show you this because it's really pretty. I brought this 
bookmark from Vienne. I was there last month and I got two bookmarks as my souvenir from a trip. I usually got like hoodies, but I don't have any more space. So I decided to change that into bookmarks. It's gonna be my new thing. And this one is a copy of a Gustav Klimt art. And I have another one as well, which has cat. It's cute. Back to the book. Kingdom of the Wicked. We are following two sisters, um, Emilia and Vittoria. And this is uh, set in Palermo, Italy. And basically they are witches, but they are hidden. They like the community doesn't know they're witches and they have a restaurant. And their grandma has all of these superstitions. They each have to wear an amulet. They can't take off the amulet or let the amulets touch. And they shouldn't go out on certain days and everything. Emilia has always been like the more rule following of the twins. Uh, Vittoria is a little bit more wild. And one night, Vittoria is out. Emilia is worried. And she ends up finding her dead. And we go from there. Basically, um... It's super interesting. I really love the description, especially the descriptions of food and drink in this book. Yes, I really like it. Um, and I like to be in Emilia's head. She is a logic female protagonist. She's not like overly with teen hormones. You know how sometimes writers like to bombard us with teen hormones and characters just make stupid decisions because teen hormones? No, her her actions are logic. Even though we have moments of teen hormones, they make sense. Like she has a crush. And so when she's around a certain character, her thoughts always go to, oh my God, I wish he liked me back. And I'm like, yes, girly. Um, so you do have the moments where you're like, okay, you're a teen, teen girl. They're like 18, 19, they're not, early teens they're later teens so that helps with the more logical things and when stuff happens her mind twists with the grief and it's kind of cool to see how Carrie Maniscalco did that and I hadn't read anything by Carrie Maniscalco and I was pleasantly surprised with this and I'm really really enjoying it and I can't wait to just continue with this Okay, let's go for draw number two. Just shuffling it a little bit more. I don't think I have any other books I would like to see here, like in my list for this month. Thank you. Okay, we have... I have new release. Um, I know what I'm gonna pick. It's not recent, but it was a new release from 2022 that I haven't read and I loved the first book. And I am talking about The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber. I loved um, the first book in the series and I want to see more of Elise and Jack. So we're following our main character. I think her name is Elise, but I can't be quite sure. Okay, don't don't quote me on character names on that. Um, I can't even remember the name of the first book. So, yeah. Um, basically, we're following a character and she accidentally... I think she freezes, like she makes it... Her sister or her stepsister is marrying the one he she loves. And so she kind of makes a deal to, you know, get him. But she realizes halfway that she would kind of turn her sister, into her stepsister into stone. And so she takes the hit instead. So she gets turned into stone while she sees her stepsister Mary, the guy she loves. Um, so she then 
it's turned back, but she has a debt to pay because she did take on a deal with a fate, which is Jack of Hearts. And so we see everything go from there. She goes to the palace and it's a, an amazing story. It has such a slow burning romance that they are quickly, like they're in my top 10 couples of the book world. And again, I am probably going to read the first book as well because I can't remember a lot of it. I remember really, really loving it but I read it when it first came out and I think it was 2020. So yeah, I do need some freshen up to do before I pick up The Ballad of Never After, but that's the one that I'm counting for this to be done. Let's go for draw number three. I have a card just jumping and I have a cat grooming itself in the background, not in my background, but in the background of my camera. I can see him like here somewhere, just grooming himself. Okay, draw number three. Oh, horror thriller. Oh, I know. I know what I'm gonna pick. And this is horror ish thriller. And. This is a book I have two copies of. One just so happens to be more at hand than the other. They're both in my shelf, but like one is under there, I think, or up there. And this one was just like in the middle of my shelves near my YA books. So it was easier to pick. And the book I'm picking is Perfume, The Story of a Killer by Patrick Suskin. So this is a historical horror story. We're following, what's your name, my love? Mm. Jean-Baptiste Renouille. Hi, baby. I have a cat. Hi. Mm. Hi. Mwah. So we're following Jean-Baptiste Renouille through his life and he was born to an unwanted mother in the middle of a fish market and his sense of smell is really really heightened and basically he has the desire to conserve good smells so he gets sold when he's a kid and then he gets an apprenticeship to be a perfume maker now, one certain night, he finds out that women have a unique, beautiful smell that he cannot recreate. So he starts killing them in order to preserve their scent and selling that as perfume to customers. So yeah, horror thrillery. Uh, I've seen the movie and I love the movie. Never read the book. This copy is in Portuguese. Uh, this one was gifted to me. Like this particular copy was gifted to me by my boy, one of my boyfriend's aunts. Cause I had met her and we talked a lot about books and then she grabbed a bunch that she was getting rid of and thought I would like them and gifted them to me. This was one of them. She was right. Cause I have this exact edition somewhere in my shelves as well and I'm keeping both copies because this is something I like and this is a book my stepfather also likes so one of the copies is going to be mine and one of the copies is going to be his and this is also going to be featured in a haul when I film it and we finally have book number four which will have to be oh my god Ooh, I'm, I'm going to scrap this, okay? Uh, it says audiobook, but I am canceling my script uh, subscription because I don't use it a lot. So I'm only picking audiobooks I really, really want. Like if I want specifically the audiobook, 
So I'm scrapping this card right here, right now. So we don't have this again. I'm, you know, canceling audiobooks for right now. So let me draw another card. Oh, I like this one. It says favorite genre. For favorite genre. What am I going to read? I don't know what I'm going to read. Okay, my favorite genre is fantasy. Okay. So it means I have to pick a fantasy book. Now, I don't have a lot of, you know, oh my god, I need to read this. Because I've been out of book talk for a little while. Um, let me, let me, let me search my Kindle, see if I have anything there. So, for favorite genre, and my favorite genre is fantasy, and specifically, I've been in the mood of fae-ish fantasy and I've been getting drawn back to this specific series. I read the first one in English and then in Portuguese and I have the whole collection in Portuguese and I would like to reread them all especially because one of the books was a gift from my mom and I have like very special fond memories of that specific book and I just got the whole like I just completed the series this year and it's the Seven Water series, and I'm going for book number two that I have never read, and I'm going to read it in Portuguese. It's called The Son of Shadows, <clears throat> Filha Sombras, in Portuguese. And we are following Lidan, and she has uh, the gift of healing and sightseeing, and... Basically, Liadon has to stay in several waters if she wishes that the sacred islands are reconquered by Britain. And so this is kind of in the real world, but in the pocket dimension of the real world. Um, and we're following a magical family basically throughout generations. In this case, we're following Liadon. And I don't think this specific book has a like a family tree i know some of the most recent ones have but we do have a map and i can show you a map of where we're going and so for the first book we followed sorsha and she went through hell and back to save her brothers basically not gonna say anything else in case you want to read it uh and then we're following i believe her daughter leodon um and yeah she will have her own quest this is classic fantasy plot for all books you have main character crap happens main character has a quest main character has to complete the quest in order to unravel all the crap that happened this is like the main formula for all the seven water books specifically i love them uh especially like the younger generations i'm not falling as harder with the older generations than i am with the newest uh so i know for we have books one two and three which are older generations and then we have four, five, and six that are the newer generations. And the first book I read of this series was book number four and then book number five. And they were sisters. So I already knew the character from book number five from book number four because we saw her a little bit. And then the character from book number four appears in book number five, which I think helps strengthen that feeling I had from that. And I know that character from book number six is actually mentioned in books number four and five, but she is with the character, I think, from this book, I believe. We're all in the same family, just different timelines. Really, really good. Highly recommend it. So, let us do a quick... Oh my god. Okay, 
Okay, let's let's do it like this. Maybe it's easier. So we have first Kingdom of the Wicked by Karen Meniscalco for physical copy. And then we have Ballad of Never After for new release, which will be an ebook. And then we have Perfume the Story of a Killer for horror thriller. And then we have Son of Shadows for favorite genre. And this, hopefully, will be my reading for January. I want to do a wrap up even if I didn't read a lot or even if I didn't finish a book. I still want to do a wrap up and tell you I read X amount of pages of this, I read that, I felt this, this and that and that's why I didn't read. I still want to give you guys an update for the end of the month and I want to start doing that. And I want to start doing more reviews like on TikTok and I want to get back to doing self says. Uh, but I want to do a self says like for every book. So we'll see how that goes. It's wishful thinking, but I want to do it for like at least one book that I read per month. So we're starting with that and then we'll see where we're going. And I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And Remy will say bye as well. <laughs> And we'll see you in our next video.